Hi guys, welcome to challenge three of the Unlocked Games. Okay, this game is called Sit, Throw, Catch because of what you need to do, which I'll explain in a moment. But what you need for this game is something that you can throw and catch. So if you've got a ball, great, a nice, maybe a nice light ball, nothing too heavy. Um, but if you haven't got a ball, then we can always get our balled up socks. Or if you've got a little soft toy, this one's got a few beans in it, so it gives it a bit of weight, so that makes it nice for catching. Then you could use something like that. So absolutely up to you what you throw and catch. If you can do this outside, I think it's a bit of an advantage because you can throw higher, which will help you. If you can't go outside, then of course you can do it inside, but it's just a little bit of an extra challenge because you are limited by how high your ceilings are. So if you've got very high ceilings, great. Um, if you've got low ceilings like me, then it's going to be a challenge. All right, so sit, throw, and catch. Just like it sounds, you have to start sitting on the floor. So you can just about see me sitting on the floor over there. Yeah, trust me, my bottom's on the floor. You sit on the floor, then you have to throw your object, and you have to catch it, but wait, it's not as simple as that. You have to sit on the floor, you have to throw your object in, object in the air. While it is still flying up in the air, you have to stand up before you catch it, okay? You must be standing to catch. You can't be still sitting down to catch, all right? That's what makes this really tricky. And this is why I say if you can go outside and you can throw higher, you've obviously got more time to stand up and catch it. But also, if you throw really, really high, you might throw a bit uh, inaccurately. It might go somewhere else and you might have to be running down the street to try and catch it, which might mean you fail as well. So, um, how do you score points with this? Well, we're going to do uh, different levels of catching. So it's going to kind of see how fast you can get up to catch. So if you catch your object, your soft toy, your board up socks, your ball, whatever it is, if you catch it below your knee, so if you just catch it, before it drops on the floor, we will give you 10 points for that. If you get up really, really quickly and you manage to catch it somewhere between your knees and let's say your chest, then we'll give you 20 points for that. If you get up super fast or you've done a really good high throw, you've got up super fast and you're nice and accurate and you manage to catch it above your chest or even above your head, we will give you 30 points for that, okay? So the higher you can catch, the more points you can get. Uh, you might want someone around like mum or dad who can be watching carefully, making sure you're not cheating and catching really low going, oh, I call it up here. Yeah, be strict please, play fair. If it drops on the floor, I'm afraid that's zero points, no catch. We are going to do it in a limited amount of time. So we're gonna have a one minute timer. So you can maybe have a bit of a practice, get yourself ready, see what it's like, decide if you're inside, outside, what type of thing you're throwing, and then get your one minute timer ready and give it a go. Okay, I've got my one minute timer ready. I've got my object to throw and catch ready. The last thing to talk about is the status. So challenger status and legendary status. For challenger status, uh, you're going to perform this throwing in any way you like, which means you can use two hands if you want to, or you can just use your strong hand if you want to. My strong hand is my right hand, the one I'm most accurate with, I think. But if you want to have a challenge and go for legendary status, then you are only allowed to use your weak hand, the hand you prefer not to throw with, okay? For me, that's my left hand. So I'm gonna to try to only throw and maybe only catch with my left hand. See how many points I managed to get in one minute. Three, two, one, go. My score was 180 points. I'm pretty sure every single one I caught was 
between that knee and chest height. I don't think I got any higher. I'm pretty sure I didn't catch any lower. I might watch the video again, just to be sure. Whew, it's a bit of a workout. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely hard with my weak hand, only throwing and catching. Remember, that's legendary status. If you just want to have a go at challenger status, you can use your other hand, you can use two hands. Yep, that's up to you. You can catch your two hands, so choose whichever level suits you. The only other thing I'd say is be careful. I'm sure you could see me stumbling everywhere as I was trying to get up. Make sure there's nothing behind you that you're actually going to accidentally going to fall back into, bang yourself on. Yeah, look around you, make sure you're in a safe area before you start. Good luck.